What's up guys, it's Eric Johnson from Rare Tatharos Nation. In today's video, we are gonna talk about one simple thing you can add in training today that is going to help you immediately add distance to your throw. So what is that? Well, we are talking about stop finishing the throw with your upper body. What are you talking about? How am I gonna throw it? How is it gonna come out? Now, this is kind of an update on some videos that uh, we did a few years ago, but what we wanna do is at camps, private coaching, video analysis, everything where we're always coaching our athletes, club kids, everything, we constantly see the finish the throw action or we see this type of thing or we see this type of thing, right? They're really cranking. And so what we want you to understand is the hardest thing that you have to do is time the, the delivery. So how do you understand the complexity? And again, remember with the throwing chain reaction system, we break down how all this works. We look at left side, right side, top, bottom, and you have to coordinate all the pieces together. So what's one of the things that we're going to be doing when we're coming through the finish? One of the key things is we are blocking here, we're blocking here, we're delivering here, and we're delivering here, right? So it goes boom, 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 boom. You've kind of got this four part sequence. So when you're training, if you're doing your throws and you're coming around and you're doing this, you're always learning to deliver the upper body too fast, right? There's no resistance when you're doing like a drill. And so you see everybody wanting to finish. What you need to do is feel how to get the lower body ahead, keep the radius long and come through and square up. So at this point, if you want to practice that, that's fine, but you've completed the lower body. So notice before we said, don't finish the throw. Now we clarify at our camps in all of our training, don't finish the throw with the upper body. Always finish the throw with the lower body. Feel the tension that you would create. If I'm a glider, right, I'm going to hit and I'm going to hold back and I'm going to be trying to get this up and I'm going to be trying to wait and I'm going to be doing this and I'm going to get the hip through. The hip is what's moving my upper body, not me actively moving the upper body. Really important. And if I'm hitting my rotational shot, same thing. I'm gonna be coming through, I'm gonna be hitting, and I wanna feel this. I wanna get that hip, I wanna feel that tension coming up from my block, feel my delivery side, block arm stopping, and I'm gonna feel this big punch. Now remember, that's another video we'll talk about. Some people say that block arm's supposed to just keep moving. It isn't, it's not supposed to keep moving. I stand by that. It has a path and there is a motion where this stops to transfer the momentum. But we'll talk about that in another video. So today, remember, simple thing you can do. We see kids doing this all the time. They're doing this. You see how I kind of pull off? Yes, I'm moving into my block, but I'm not learning to finish my hip. And this is an unnatural motion that has to be learned. We talk about that extensively inside the throwing chain reaction. So you have to learn to always finish the lower body first before you hit the upper body. So don't finish the throw with your upper body. Always focus on getting the hips turned through and maintaining ground contact so that you can punch a big throw and hit the big finish. Okay guys, thanks so much. We'll see you on the next video.